So welcome to the February uh, meeting for the Wireless Technology Forum. A lot's been going on uh, in town. And before I uh, go any further, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ratan Bhavnani. I'm the president for the Wireless Technology Forum this year. And we've got a great set of meetings set up for this year. And I hope we'll see all of you uh, back, we, we meet every third Thursday of the month, right here, and you are all welcome uh, for our meetings, every third Thursday at 6 p.m. This would not be possible without our sponsors, and uh, our association sponsors are AT&T, the Storm Resource Group, our industry advocate partner is GSMA, uh, I don't know if we've got anybody here from GSMA tonight, uh, do we? No, they've got another big conference coming up at the end of the month, uh, their annual Barcelona uh, Mobile World Congress. I don't know, how, how many, any, any of you going to that? Chris, you're not. <laughs> uh, but they're a great uh, advocate partner for us. Uh, then we've got some community partners, uh, Startup Grind, Tag Mobility, the Metro Atlanta Chamber, and we also have some other partners uh, that we work with, uh, like uh, I think they're called Tech Alpharetta now, uh, but they used to be called the Greater Alpharetta uh, Technology Network. So, so we've got some partners that we work with uh, in that uh, whole arena. There's a lot that's been going on, and as the Wireless Technology Forum, we try to keep up with what's going on and letting you know what is happening in the industry. So we just talked about the uh, Mobile World Congress. Uh, you also uh, probably heard, uh, I think this was what, last week, uh, who announced that they were going to move to Atlanta? A French company. Peugeot, Peugeot right? And their parent company. Uh, are now going to move to Atlanta. So now we're going to have Mercedes-Benz, right? We're going to have Peugeot. They chose Atlanta, and it's, all, and it's for all the right reasons. Their parent company also owns a very sophisticated piece of software called Free to Move. Have you all heard of that app? It is free to move, and, and, and they're doing this in Europe, and, and they're continuing to do it here, and I'm very excited about that. It's a mobility app that brings together, whether it's car sharing, or it's bike sharing, or it's Uber, and it analyzes what your need is at that point in time, and will recommend who you ought to call, and it does that for you. Uh, so so we're, we're going to see a lot of things happening in Atlanta. Uh, hopefully, we'll get them uh, into the Wireless Technology Forum uh, and see what's going on here. Uh, one of the other things that uh, we did in the last month uh, was we started up, and thanks to Caroline and, and a group of people, and, and, and Melissa, where's Melissa? And Alicia, and, and we had the, started up a SIG here, a special interest group called the wire, Wireless, Women in Wireless. So when you join the forum, not only do you get to attend all 11 meetings here, which are the, uh, on every third Thursday, but the women in wireless meetings are also open to the women and to the men who are invited by women, I was told. I was not invited the last month. So I'll just tell you that. <laughs> but but uh, the women in wireless, so, so that's 10 meetings there, are 11 more, so that's 21 meetings plus anything new that we come up with, you know, because as we're working with people in our, as, as our partners, as we work with folks as sponsors, uh, if there are other special interest groups, and you get for $99 the ability to attend all these meetings. Partner events, we talked about our other partners. They give us some discount codes, which we give to our uh, members. And again, you get more than your money's worth back from that. And those of you that had some beer and something else to uh, uh, eat here, you know, 
all that's all part of your $99. But the best thing about this is the networking, and that's what I find very valuable, is being able to talk to people from industry, being able to network with them, and then to be able to get, a, get the knowledge as you sit there. When we get our panelists up here, we've got subject matter experts who come and you get to, to see that. Uh, one of the other things is if you want to volunteer, there is a lot of work that needs to be done behind the scenes, whether it's Women in Wireless or it's sponsorships or it's bringing on top innovators who we'll see uh, or it's trying to get uh, partnerships going. So if folks want to do and help out, we've got groups that are already set up. We're working on it and we'd love to get your help. And if you have any other questions, you know, those of us that have these uh, new badges that they gave me today uh, on, uh, talk to one of us and we'll be uh, happy to talk to you about more about Wireless Technology Forum. Again, thank you again for being here. To talk to you more about what is this thing, why women and wireless, I want to bring up Alicia who can tell us a little more about that. Here, Alicia. Thank you. I'm, sure, I'm sure everyone can hear me. Oh. Hey, can you all hear me now? Okay, great. So, uh, good evening. My name is Alicia Bridgewater, and I'm here um, just because Caroline asked me to give a little spiel for what our next meeting is. And we had a very successful first meeting uh, just a couple of weeks ago with like 42 people in attendance. That so was great. And so our next meeting uh, is March 8th, and I noticed that there are like three women in the audience, but for all of you guys who you know, know women and have women in your network, if you could please tell them that we have started a women in wireless special interest group to really encourage women to get into the industry, to be involved, to you know, network, and you know, have some fun. So our meeting on March 8th from you know, 6 to 8 is about um, positioning yourself for promotional opportunities. And it's a really fun topic, kind of near and dear to my heart. A lot of us are from the telecom and wireless industry, and we're seeing like massive disruption and massive change, right, in a lot of industries, right? And we're all trying to figure out how to chart um, a fun career and continue the ride. And so we're going to have some amazing women who, um, not sure what happened to Robin, but hopefully she's up there. But anyway, Robin B and Fay. Amazing woman, CEO of Innovate, who has sponsored the um, Atlanta Tech Parkway out in Duluth. We also have Jenny Crenshaw, who's executive director of technology and automotive for JVN Consulting. Kimberly Eubank, um, SVP Digital Efficiency for SunTrust. Katie Klein, who's VP of Executive Engagement at TAG, and Pam Lopez, who's managing partner of Customer Focus Strategies. So this group represents individual entrepreneurs who are doing their best to you know, move their business ahead, civic organizations, and corporate climbers. So they all have a very cool, very genuine story about how they keep the momentum going in their career. So it's going to be a fun night. So please help us share this, and you are welcome to come too as a sponsor of you know, any Women in Wireless member. So thank you. Breton. Thank you. And our March event is uh, going to be on the Smart City Global Leadership. Uh, we've got a, uh, a moderator set up, and we're looking at the city of Atlanta being here, uh, GTRI being here. Uh, probably have one of the network operators also uh, show up, uh, and a, a, a solution provider. So, so that's the panel that's going to be set up next month. Again, it's March 15th. You can put down on your calendar. It's a third Thursday. I would just mark it three, uh, third Thursday every, uh, for the rest of the year. But it's March 15, 6 p.m. here. And our topic for next month uh, is a smart city global leadership. 